As they get older, all people need some excitement, says Debbie Urbick, a research scientist at Indiana University. Nearly 10% of all dreams include sex. Research has shown that orgasms experienced during sex cause us to release 400 times more prolactin, which tends to make people feel sleepy and satiated than those from masturbation. Orgasms can lower a woman's risk of heart disease, stroke, breast cancer, and depression. The surge of oxytocin that occurs during orgasm triggers a release of feel-good endorphins that act as powerful pain relievers. Despite what men claim, only 15% have a penis longer than 7 inches, and only 3% have a penis more than 8 inches long. When the uterus contracts during orgasm, it can help use up cramp causing prostaglandins, flush out excess blood, and even clear out some of the lining and debris that could flow backward. When two people kiss, they exchange between 10 million and 1 billion bacteria. It's generally accepted that roughly a third of women are unable to have orgasm through any means. The most common cause of penile rupture is vigorous masturbation. Some women love the feeling of rhythmic pressure on their cervix and may depend on that sensation to reach orgasm. After fingers and vibrators, candles are the most often used objects by women. According to research published in the Journal of Sexual Research, women's ability to orgasm increased by 30% after taking part in a mindfulness program. The left testicle usually hangs lower than the right for right-handed men. The opposite is true for lefties. The average woman needs 20 minutes of stimulation to reach climax, whereas men typically require between 2 to 10 minutes. The average male orgasm lasts 6 seconds. The average female orgasm lasts 20 seconds. It has been shown that when you reach orgasm, the area behind your left eye, known as the lateral orbitofrontal cortex, shuts down. The impulse to ejaculate comes from the spinal cord no brain needed. If you're struggling to reach orgasm, using lube might help. The world's largest recorded penis belongs to 41-year-old New Yorker Jonah Falcon, whose appendage measures 9.5 inches flaccid and 13.5 inches erect. The clitoris is the only part of the human body that never ages. The pulsations a woman feels during orgasm are actually her uterus trying to gather sperm. The clitoris doesn't play a direct role in human reproduction, it's just there to make us feel good. Birth control pills dampen the libido. Sensations that start in the clitoris can spread across the pelvic area, affecting about 15,000 other nerve endings. The clitoris actually has a pretty similar anatomy to a penis with glands, a foreskin, and a shaft. The clitoris grows throughout a woman's lifetime. Women can get pregnant five to eight days after having sex. Wearing high heels can negatively affect a woman's orgasm. Studies have shown that orgasms can make women more confident, productive, and creative. Get aroused and sex won't be messy anymore. Isn't sex a messy activity, mostly when you're not in the mood? That's because sexual arousal overrides the body's natural disgust response, implying that you won't find the act messy as long as you're enjoying it. According to a study undertaken by researchers from the University of Groningen in the Netherlands, when a group of women was asked to watch either an erotic film, a sports video, or a neutral video of a train, and then perform a series of unpleasant acts, like drinking out of a cup with a bug in it, they found that those who'd watched the sexual acts rated the tasks as less disgusting and were also able to complete more of them compared to their counterparts. Sex does burn calories. It's the most commonly cited thing about sex, but seldom have people believed it. Now, it's time to get your facts right. According to a study by researchers from the University of Quebec, getting busy between the sheets for an hour can burn as many calories as 30 minutes of jogging. As per the study, Men burn an average of 4.2 calories a minute during sex, while women burn about 3.1. Overall, men and women burn about 101 and 69 calories per session, respectively. 99% of couples feel that others have a more satisfying sex life than their own. Engaging in morning sex releases oxytocin, a feel-good chemical that fosters a loving and connected atmosphere throughout the day. Research has shown that breast foreplay enhances sexual arousal in men. Women are more likely to experience multiple orgasms if they wear socks during sex. Having one orgasm per day may decrease a man's risk of prostate cancer. 
most women prefer a dimly lit environment for sexual activity over a well-lit one. Through masturbation, a woman can orgasm in about four minutes, but it may take her 10 to 20 minutes to reach orgasm during intercourse. Only 18% of women orgasm solely through vaginal penetration. You can break a penis getting a penile fracture is a real thing that can and does happen. You might think that hooking up and settling down are mutually exclusive, but one third of married couples were originally a hookup, according to a report from the National Marriage Project. If you're struggling to reach orgasm, using lube might help. People who always masturbate always end up with regrets. It doesn't matter whether the man is trying his best or not. If the woman is thinking about something else and not focusing on the here and now. When it comes to porn, life should not imitate art. The secret to mind blowing sex is lube. Ever wonder why things like spanking and hair pulling go from bad pain to good pain when brought into the bedroom? That's because your pain threshold can increase significantly during orgasm. According to a study published in the Journal of Sex Research, researchers at Stanford and Columbia Universities found that women who had sex at least once a week had more regular cycles. Nearly 75% of respondents would like to have sex at least three times a week. Studies have found that masturbation in women can reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. Orgasm in women begins in the brain. Hostel Bookers surveyed over 11,000 of its users about their juiciest travel sex secrets and found that a whopping 52% of men and 41% of women have had one-night stands while traveling. Almost 31% of guys have faked an orgasm. Frequent sex and orgasms act directly on the immune system, strengthening it. Sexting can improve your relationship. The clitoris has 18 parts and 8,000 nerve endings, which are twice as many as the penis. Semen contains zinc and calcium, which prevent tooth decay. Masturbating helps relieve period cramps by increasing blood flow and relaxing uterine muscles. A woman's voice becomes higher pitched when she's sexually aroused, and men often find this more attractive. Women are more likely to fantasize about things that are forbidden or taboo, whereas men's fantasies tend to focus on scenarios where they are desired or worshipped. It turns out women have been shown to get turned on more by their own fantasies than any particular external stimulus, like porn. Men with deep voices are more likely to be perceived as having more sexual partners. Studies suggest that women tend to be more attracted to men with symmetrical facial features, which is often linked to good health and genetic fitness. Ever heard the phrase sex on the brain? It's not far from the truth. Research shows that being sexually aroused lights up the brain in much the same way as eating, drinking, or even using drugs. And not only that, research suggests that frequent orgasms improve cognitive function. So, better sex could actually mean better thinking. The pheromones we give off when we're sexually attracted to someone can actually influence how others perceive us. They might not consciously know why, but they'll find us more appealing. In fact, studies show that men find women's natural scent the most attractive when they're ovulating. Interestingly, most people can predict whether a relationship will last or not within the first few minutes of meeting someone. This instinct is based on subtle signals we pick up about the other person's behavior, body language, and pheromones. Love at first sight may just be a primal response to those signals. Oxytocin, known as the cuddle hormone, is released after sex and promotes bonding and attachment. This is why couples often feel closer after being intimate. But this hormone doesn't just affect romantic relationships, it also plays a role in social bonding and trust between friends and family. Did you know that some people are genetically predisposed to be more affectionate? Studies have shown that a variation in the oxytocin receptor gene can make certain individuals more likely to engage in affectionate behaviors like hugging, kissing, and cuddling. This gene may even influence how empathetic someone is. The couples who have a healthy sex life tend to be more satisfied in their relationships overall. But it's not just about the frequency of sex, it's about the quality. Good communication, trust, and emotional connection are key ingredients to a fulfilling sex life. Women are more likely to engage in mate choice copying, meaning they are more attracted to a man who is already in a relationship. This could be because a partnered man is seen as being more desirable or trustworthy, since another woman has already vetted him. Interestingly, studies show that during ovulation, 
women may experience a spike in libido and even dress more provocatively. This is an evolutionary tactic during the time when a woman is most fertile, she may subconsciously try to attract a mate. Studies have also found that synchronized breathing between partners can enhance sexual intimacy. When you and your partner are breathing in sync, your bodies become more attuned to each other, heightening the emotional and physical connection. In fact, the anticipation of sex can sometimes be more exciting than the act itself. Dopamine, the feel-good hormone, is released in anticipation of pleasure, meaning that simply thinking about sex can trigger feelings of excitement and arousal. And contrary to what some might believe, sex isn't just about pleasure, it also has numerous health benefits. Regular sex has been shown to improve heart health, boost the immune system, and even extend lifespan. For women, it can help regulate menstrual cycles and alleviate PMS symptoms. Not only does sex make you feel better mentally and emotionally, but it can also have a profound impact on your physical appearance. The increased circulation and release of hormones during sex can lead to glowing skin, shiny hair, and even a more youthful appearance. If you've ever wondered why makeup and fashion often emphasize certain body parts like lips, eyes, and hips, it's because these areas signal fertility and sexual availability. Full lips, wide hips, and bright eyes have been associated with reproductive health, making them more attractive to potential mates. At the same time, what's considered sexy can vary dramatically across cultures and time periods. For instance, in some cultures, heavier body types are seen as more attractive because they symbolize wealth and abundance. In others, slim and athletic builds are preferred because they suggest health and vitality. Despite these differences, one thing remains constant confidence is universally attractive. People who exude self-assurance are often perceived as more desirable, regardless of their physical appearance. Confidence signals to others that you are comfortable with yourself, which can be incredibly appealing. Finally, let's talk about the concept of sexual compatibility. It's not just about having similar interests in the bedroom, it's about understanding each other's needs, desires, and boundaries. The couples who are sexually compatible tend to have stronger, longer-lasting relationships because they are able to meet each other's emotional and physical needs. Research shows that younger women are often more exploratory when it comes to masturbation, discovering their own bodies and learning what brings them pleasure. For many, masturbation is a form of self-discovery. It allows them to understand their own sexual responses, which can lead to better communication with future partners about what feels good for them. Younger women tend to be more open about discussing their sexual needs and desires with friends and partners, thanks to more progressive social attitudes towards sexual health and female pleasure. Interestingly, masturbation can also help younger women manage stress and anxiety. With many dealing with school work or early career pressure, self-pleasure becomes an easy and healthy outlet. The release of endorphins during masturbation helps to alleviate stress, improve mood, and create a sense of well-being. On the other hand, older women, particularly those in their 40s, 50s, and beyond often report an even deeper connection with masturbation. As women age, their sexual needs and desires can evolve. For many older women, masturbation becomes an essential part of maintaining their sexual health and well-being, especially during and after menopause. Menopause often brings a decline in estrogen levels, which can lead to vaginal dryness, lower libido, and discomfort during intercourse. For some women, masturbation helps maintain vaginal health, as it encourages blood flow to the area, which can help with lubrication and elasticity. By continuing to engage in sexual activity, even solo, older women can keep their bodies responsive and maintain their sexual vitality. Furthermore, many older women report feeling more sexually liberated after menopause. Freed from concerns about pregnancy or societal expectations, they may feel more comfortable exploring their own pleasure without guilt or shame. For these women, masturbation becomes an act of self-care and empowerment. It's no longer just about physical pleasure, it's about maintaining a sense of control over their own bodies and sexuality. It's also worth mentioning that while younger women may be more influenced by external stimuli like visual or auditory cues, think erotica or porn, older women often report that their fantasies and imagination play a bigger role in their arousal. This is because over time they've become more in tune with what truly excites them, and they've learned how to tap into their own erotic mental space. 
One fascinating study found that women in their 50s and 60s often experience a second sexual awakening where they feel more in touch with their bodies and more confident in their sexual desires than they ever did in their younger, younger years. This confidence can lead to a richer, more fulfilling masturbation experience. Moreover, older women might also prioritize masturbation as part of their health routine. The benefits of regular orgasms like better sleep, stress relief, and improved mood are even more important as they age. With the added pressures of work, family, and sometimes health concerns, masturbation can offer a quick, natural way to relax and feel good. There's also a social component. While younger women might be more likely to talk openly about their masturbation habits with friends due to changing cultural attitudes, older women may still carry some of the taboos from earlier generations. However, as sex-positive movements gain traction, more older women are becoming comfortable discussing their sexual health, including masturbation, with peers or professionals. The takeaway? Masturbation serves different purposes at different stages of life. For younger women, it's often about exploration, discovery, and stress relief. For older women, it can be more about maintaining sexual health, connecting with their bodies, and reclaiming their pleasure on their own terms. Whether you're younger or older, the benefits of masturbation are clear it can improve your mood, reduce stress, boost your confidence, and enhance your overall well-being. Younger and older women who always masturbate always end up calmer than usual, and it's a major benefit for younger men and older men alike. Like, comment, and subscribe for more from the wisdom of psychology.